Hi guys, I'm Adi Purdila. Welcome to a Web Design Tuts Plus video tutorial. Uh, the theme of today's tutorial is productivity. Now, if you find yourself writing a bunch of HTML or CSS, then you'll definitely benefit from this because I'll give you a tour of the brand new Emmet. Now, you can download Emmet at emmet.io. Just go to the download section, pick your code editor from, uh, from the list here, and follow the instructions. For uh, this tutorial, I'll be using Sublime Text 2. I have uh, Emmet installed already, and we're good to go. Uh, before we start, though, one last note. Uh, if you're using online services for writing your code, like JS Fiddle, CodePen, JS Bin, uh, you can also use Emmet with these. It's, uh, it's compatible. Now, this uh, tutorial will be divided in two parts. First, I'm going to show you how to use Emmet. You know, how to write the syntax, what options do you have, and all that cool stuff. And, uh, and then in part two, we're going to build a really uh, simple page with Bootstrap. This is the new Bootstrap uh, version 3.0. It's currently released client 2, but uh, you can already start uh, start using it. There's also a customizer available, so uh, go ahead and play around with it. So let's get to the theory part first. Probably the best Emmet feature is the HTML abbreviations. Personally, this is how I found out about the plugin in the first place, and it just blew me away the first time I saw it. Uh, the syntax is really simple. You can use any kind of element, like div, paragraph, span, even custom ones like my element. Emmet doesn't care. You can write any word and it will be transformed into a tag. So let's, uh, let's take a simple example. I'm going to type div, hit tab, and it's going to expand to a valid div tag right it's that easy and you can also add uh, classes to an element say div class with a dot container tab and it will expand to that you can even omit the div part if that's missing and you do dot container or dot a string emmet will assume that uh, it's a div you're talking about now as you can see the dot stands for the class name you can also add ids by using the hash sign. So instead of dot, I'm going to use hash, go to the end of my string, press tab, and now it creates a div with an ID of container. And you can have both even, you know, a hash container with the class of main, for example, and it's creating the class of main. Also, you can have multiple classes, say dot container dot main tab, and it creates an element with those two classes. Now, when writing complex code, nesting is really important. In Emmet, you can do that by using the child operator. And the child operator looks like this, div, paragraph, expand, and it's gonna create a div which includes a paragraph. And you can play around with it and go down as many levels as you want. For example, if I want to create a list, I'm going to do UL and then maybe some list items and then maybe a paragraph inside the list, inside each list item. And then inside that paragraph, do an anchor tag, expand, and it's going to go down as many levels as you want. If you have a more complicated structure and you need to climb up, one level, you can use the following operator. Let's say div, which has a paragraph, which has an anchor tag, and then I'm going to do this, and I'm going to say span. Now, when we expand, look, it creates a div with a paragraph that contains an anchor tag, but the span is a sibling for the paragraph, not a child, right? So this right here, is a sibling because it goes up one level and you can go up as many levels as you want all right so if i put another one then the span will be on the same level as the div right so expand and i have a div and i have a span now another common operator is the sibling one 
you can use it to place elements near one another on the same level. So here's an example, we're going to say div plus, this is the sibling operator, paragraph plus a. Now when I expand, it's going to put a div followed by a paragraph followed by an anchor tag. And of course, this can be combined with the child operator. So if for example, if I change this to the child operator and expand, everything that follows the child operator will be placed inside the div. So paragraph and anchor tag. Multiplication is another very important process in Emmet. It allows you to render multiple instances of the same element. So here's an example. Say we want a list with four list items. Normally you'd go like this, ul, close the tag, right, to go here and say list item, maybe like this. So I'm just doing this the hard way, copy this and paste it three times. And that takes a lot of time. What you can do instead is say, say this ul, which has list items times four. Expand and it creates the structure automatically. Uh, you can combine this with item numbering, for example, to generate class names or IDs. So I can do this. UL, which has list items with the class of, let's do item, and I'm going to put the dollar sign. This stands for item numbering times four. Expand, and it's creating some numbers for me. One, two, three, four. And you can also use this to generate uh, text. So for example, UL list item times five. And each list item should contain an anchor tag with the text. So we're going to do some curly braces, item dollar. Okay, let's expand. And there it is. Inside the anchor tags, we have item one, two, till five. So keep in mind here to render text, you need to use curly braces. Since we're uh, on the topic, let's talk about square brackets. Uh, these are used for attributes. For example, I can do something like this, a and then square brackets title equals click me. We need some uh, quotation marks there. Expand and there it is title equals click me. And you can also add uh, multiple attributes. So for example, here I can also say href equals google.com for example. Now, when dealing with complicated structures, it's always a good idea to use grouping. Uh, let me show you how that works. So you would use normal parentheses for this. And the idea is the content inside those parentheses will be treated as a single element. So uh, take this example div, which has a paragraph, and then a span plus an anchor tag. Right, it will generate this. Now, if you do the same thing, div p span plus a, but you will group these two like this and expand, you will get a different result. Right now, the anchor tag is a sibling to the paragraph, not a child. So you got to use grouping when you have complicated or even multi-level HTML structure. Now there is one final shortcut you need to learn, and this will definitely come in handy. Uh, you know that lorem ipsum Latin text that's used as a placeholder text? Well, Emmet makes it really simple for you by providing a generator. So you would just need to type something like uh, lipsum and expand, or you can even type lorem. Both of these uh, work. And it will generate by default a 30 words dummy text. If you want more words, simply append a number after lorem or ipsum. For example, lorem 100 will generate 100 words of dummy text, or lorem 2, it's going to generate two words. And that is a very quick tour on what Emmet can do with uh, HTML. 
Now, Emmet also supports CSS, but we're not going to cover that in uh, in this tutorial. However, you can go to emmet.io, go to documentation, and you can find all of the documentation for abbreviations, CSS stuff, actions right here, along with a cheat sheet, which uh, gives you like all the syntax in one place. So you can just come back to this when uh, when you're coding and can remember a certain shortcut. It's really, really handy. Now, uh, that's it for this first video. In the next one, we'll build our uh, simple page with Bootstrap. So I'll uh, see you there.